Hey everyone, it's That Math Magician. On this video, we're gonna take a look at functions and we're gonna see, can we determine an input when we know it's given output? So let's jump right into this example problem where it shows us given the function m of x equaling 2x minus five, we wanna determine the input when we know that the output is 17. So this is a little different than our previous videos because now we're saying, I know the output. The output ends up being 17. I wanna know what the input is. We don't know what our x value is, but we want to determine what that is. So what we'll do is we'll take our function m of x, and we know that m of x equals 2x minus five. But in this case, we are going to not change the x value here to be a 17. This is the wrong way to do this problem because that's saying our input is 17. We're gonna figure out what the output is. No, we don't know what X is. So instead of doing that, we actually instead want to erase the left side of our function there and instead replace it with 17. We know that when we drop an X value into 2X minus five, the output's going to be positive 17. So now what we just have to do is take that equation there solve for x and figure out what our input is. So let's go ahead and do that. I wanna solve for x, I wanna isolate that x variable. To do that, we need to move some stuff over to the left side of that equation. First things first is, let's add that positive five. We wanna move that five on over. These fives here are going to zero out for us. On the right side, we're just gonna have left over our two x, nothing else is touching it. On the left side we have, 17 plus five, that ends up equaling 22. We almost have our x variable by itself. Unfortunately, we have two x's. I only want one x. So what I need to do with that is divide both sides by positive two. By doing that, these on the right side are going to become one because two divided by two is one. I'm left with just one x value. On the left side there, we gotta figure out what is 22 divided by two. Half of 22 ends up being 11. That shows you right there that our input is 11 when our output is 17. And if you don't believe me, well, we can always do the second step of checking our work. I'm gonna slide that over to show you now. We've figured out that x equals 11. If you don't believe me that when x is 11, your output is 17, well then take your function m of x and let's plug in 11. And if we do this, we should end up with our output of 17. This is a way to check your work, okay? To double check that you did the steps correctly and that we're gonna get 17 as our output. So let's solve it real quick. Two times 11 is 22. 22 minus five gives us 17. This is all the proof in the world that when our input is 11, our output is 17. Remember, you can always check your work after you solve for something just to make sure you are correct. It's That Math Magician, and I'll see you on the next video.